I'm here on the famous Riverwalk, which is in the city of New Orleans, or as the locals would call it, New Orleans. And behind me is the Mississippi River. Now, the Mississippi River is used to ship a great many goods. In fact, a lot of the things that we buy overseas are shipped right through this port that you see behind me. But I'm not here to talk about water. What I'm here to talk about is technology. So I'm going to show you what the Mississippi River has to do with this. When I found out I was going to New Orleans, my first thought was, I'm going to really enjoy those beignets from Café du Monde, just being honest. But my second thought was, I can't wait to show you the Mississippi River, because it's a perfect analogy for a computer bus. But more on that later. What you see here is the steamboat Natchez, which can take you up and down the Mississippi River for beautiful vistas of the French Quarter. What makes the Mississippi River so special is that it literally connects the U.S. It touches 10 states directly and provides drainage for 31 states and two provinces of Canada. In addition, 60% of all the grain exports from the United States come through here, and 500 million tons of goods ship through here every year. In other words, this river is critical to the country. Let's think of this in terms of a computer. The computer has a fundamental concept called the bus. The bus, quite literally, interconnects all of the components of the system. The processor, memory, hard drives, external devices like printers, everything. So think of the Mississippi as the computer bus, and the ports along the river as the different components in the computer. Data is moved from component to component, just like the goods are moved from port to port on the Mississippi. To illustrate this more, let's go up, way up. I took this shot while flying into the city. Just to give a point of reference, here's where I shot the opening video. Now right here is the Mississippi River. Think about ships moving goods up and down this river. Now let's take a look at the computer board I was holding up earlier. Closer. Even closer. There we go. Look at the dark green lines. These are paths on a circuit board where electrical signals travel. Think of the circles on this board just like ports on the river. So just like when a ship brings a good to a port, data moves along these lines to the various components of the computer. So this is how when you press print, your document ends up at your printer. I leave New Orleans full on beignets and chicory coffee. But I want you to think of your computer the next time you think of New Orleans. Remember that the mighty Mississippi moves the things we buy and sell and keeps this country running. And the computer bus is the same thing for the things you do on your computer. So until next time, this was a bite of the street. Say what? Oh, what does this have to do with computers? Oh, I don't know. It was good.